for the hundreds of fans in the grandstands, the thousands that'll be watching on Bama Racing videos. It's showtime here at the toughest little dirt track in the South. We're underway in Thunder Mountain. Turns one and two contact between Anderson and Disher. Now William gonna get a little bit of a run down the back stretch. He's gonna pull up into three and four. A shot from Brandon Brown. What a shot to Walter Anderson. He said, I'm not here to finish second you tonight. It's like a three wide down the front stretch. In the turns one and two, they keep it and they all see the file back out. What a race we had there on lap one. Give it. To Anderson thus far, Brandon Brown rides second, LJ Sonneman third, William Disher fourth, and Nicholson rounding out the top five. Brian Stevens setting up smoke signals riding about in the seventh spot there behind Bubba Cole. Battle between Ronnie Anderson and the 44 machine of Gene or of little Gene Vaughn. They battle back there for the ninth spot as Vaughn goes high. Steven now to the top of the track, comes to a slow. And that might bring out caution here for the first time in Thunder Bomber. Man, oh man, we were just about to get really good. And engine troubles for the 44. Brian Steven going to bring out caution here for the first time. Anderson fires, looked a little long time there. Green flag in the air. Flag that likes it, so we'll head off into one and two. Beating and banging behind him between the 096 of. Lucas, the 77 of Roark, splitting the difference, goes Vaughn. He'll pick up a spot in front of Brady Roark, and a big shot to Luke Lucas. Man, that battle for about the eighth spot. Those guys trade shots. Now the 04 Brandon Brown into the outside guardrail here. Sonovan now in the second spot. The win might be coming for LJ. He's been so close all season long in the number 96 machine. If he can best one of the best, he can do it here capture one tonight at Sumter Speedway. Five laps in the books here for Thunderbolt. As we ride along with that battle for the lead, that's Berlin Sonneman inching closer and closer. Anderson trying to shut the door before it's open. Behind them, you got a battle for third now as William Disher, he's got speed falling off of Brandon Brown. He jumps to the inside. Brown able to escape the position for now, but here it comes. Both the O1s, the O1 of Nicholson, the O1 two or trade shots for a position behind them. Brad Roar gets passed up by the 74 of Anderson, but back in the front, here we go. Sonneman's got speed. Anderson's got experience. Who prevails here tonight at Sumter? Brandon Brown a little loosey-goosey at the top of turn. Number two, passed up by the 18 of Disher. 0-1 tried to follow him. Brown shuts the door. He's got to peek back low on the 18W of Disher. Pushes tight. Here comes Oakland looking for position. Oh, we got a kerfuffle out of turn number four. There's a bit of smoke now out of the backside of Anderson 74. Man, I hope Man Racing Videos caught that because I sure as heck didn't see it. But when I looked over, there were three cars all into each other. It was the 44 of Little Eugene Thunder Bomber. A good advantage over Sonneman on the start. Look at this. Wow, that was almost weird. Anderson fires out a poor green flag back in the air. Thunder Bombers are underway once again. Here's start for Sonneman. Got way too sideways as we got him tangled up down the front stretch. Kale, Brock, and Ronnie Anderson both coming to a stop. Luke Lucas also involved in 96. Bubba Kolb in. 01K as we come back to the green here. Seven laps remaining. Anderson fires in the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Thunder Bombers hot and heavy into turns one and two once again. See him two by two. Brandon Brown slings it in there. A little bit of contact with William Disher. Pushes Kolb up to the top of the racetrack. Brandon Brown out of the inside of the ATW. This one's getting wild. This one's getting good here. Race fans, here we go. We're completing lap number nine. Brandon Brown going to make the pass three wide just about. Here comes William Disher. Back to the bottom, Thunder Bombers putting on a show at Sumter Speedway. Oh boy, Brandon Brown into the backside of Disher, lifting him off the ground just a teeny weeny little bit. Disher pushed to the top side. Brandon Brown back to the bottom. Yes, Walter Anderson's the leader, but the big battles for third. Brandon Brown now holds the spot. Bubba Cobb looks to the bottom. A little bit of a shake there for Cobb's 01K as he falls back behind Brandon Brown. 
Now your two leaders have started to march away from the rest of the pack. It's Walter Anderson, LJ Sonneman, top two. Throw a blanket over everybody behind them. That might be an issue for William Disher. The left front of that car looked to be slouched over just a little bit. Is there a flat tire? I don't think so, but maybe. Caution, gonna wave. to the restart zone. He's going to fire as soon as he gets to that strike. Green flag back in the air. Four laps to go. A four lap dash here. Sonneman peaks low. Anderson shuts the door down the back stretch. Got about a car length advantage as they head into three and four here. Brandon Brown pulls up right behind Sonneman, not able to give him the bumper. And Brandon Brown, oh my Lucy Goosey, goes around to the front stretch. Big contact with Eugene Vaughn. Yellow flag flies. It's amazing Saturday night as Anderson trying to cap off Thunder Bomber with a win. Hits the loud pedal going into four, and we're back underway. Green, white chicken style. Hits up the speedway, baby. Anderson down the back stretch here for the penultimate time. Coming to the white flag. Sonneman's got to reach down low and get all the momentum he could get. White flag for Walter Anderson. LJ Sonneman still in tow. Nicholson now finds himself in a podium spot. Well, well, well. Back to back in three weeks. We took a week off. He didn't miss a beat. Walter Anderson goes back to Roy Plumbing. Victory lane, he wins it in the Thunder Bomber. Followed by LJ Sonneman. Chucky Nicholson salvages the top three finish. Brandon Brown fourth. Braden Roark will come home fifth. Bubba Cole rounds out the cars on track in the